Yo, what's good guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my updated free speed controller. This panel will result in giving you higher FPS, lower input delay, and lower ping. With all that being said, let's get into this video. Simply head to our website with the first link in the description, find free tweaks page, and press download now. This program is completely open source, so if you would like to view the code, then check out our GitHub. Once you've downloaded the free utility, open up this folder, then right click on the EXE and press run as administrator. Once this has loaded up, we're first going to be starting off by creating a system backup. This will ensure if anything bad happens during the, throughout this video, then you can revert all the changes. So simply hit the miscellaneous page and press system backup. Now give this a couple seconds. Once the switch checks, then it has created your system backup. Second, we're going to install Visual C++ redistributables. These are just these are different runtimes that most applications require to run nowadays. So press this check. And then you should see the install button and press install. Mine looks like this because I already have these installed. So I'm just going to close this out and then run a corrupt file checker. This will scan for any corrupt files on your disk and automatically fix them for you. Now that you've started this, you can minimize this and allow it to run in the background and head over to the optimizations page. We're first going to start off with the basic Windows settings. And when this pops up, check adjust for best performance and check the following. Smooth edge of screen fonts, show Windows contents while dragging and show thumbnails instead of icons. Then I press apply and OK. Second, we're going to disable Windows updates. And if you disable Windows updates, Microsoft Store will no longer work anymore. So if you don't use Microsoft Store, so if you use Microsoft Store, do not disable the updates. Just simply add your Windows settings, Windows updates, click this drop down and pause it for five weeks and then you'll be good. Pausing Windows updates are crucial for having smoother gameplay because sometimes a Windows update may start in the background while you're gaming, consuming a bunch of resources and destroying your performance. So press apply now, then you can close this out. Second, we're gonna optimize our Windows kernel. This is the core of the operating system, and this is crucial for having lower latency. Third, we're gonna optimize your memory settings and enable hags or hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. This setting I would recommend testing because some people notice better results with this setting enabled, and some people will have better performance with the setting disabled. So if you would like to test between the both, head your Windows settings, gaming, game mode, graphics, Choose default graphic settings, and it should be right here. If you have it, then just toggle between enabled and disabled. Now, TSC plus TSC without desync, optimizing your storage disks. Now, optimize your power settings. These are to do some power settings, which will increase your PC power consumption and your heat. So if you're on a laptop, I'd recommend you testing the setting, or if you're even on a desktop with heating issues, then I would test. But if you're not, you can check this. Now once this pops up, you should see the sticks free power plan has been imported. Just press on this and then you're good. I'm going to continue using my premium power plan since this one is a bit better. Close this out. And if you have an NVIDIA GPU, you can check this switch. Or if you have an AMD Radeon GPU, check the switch. If you don't know, open up your task manager, performance, GPU, and it should say right here. As shown, I'm on a Radeon GPU. I'm going to check the switch and next QoS settings. This is currently only for Fortnite and future updates. I'm going to be including more games. So if you would like me to include your game, make sure to leave your game name in the comment section below. Now, disable startup apps. These are different apps, tasks, and different services that start up automatically right when you turn your PC. Just give this a couple seconds and then press log on at the top. Uncheck everything that you do not want to start on startup, but Make sure to leave CMD checked. Now, once you've done that, head over to Schedule Tasks and uncheck everything here. And then head over to the Services page and you can uncheck things like Brave, Edge Updates, Google Chrome, Razor, or the stuff you don't use. Now that I've done that, you can close this out, scroll down a bit more, and onto Disabling Hyper-V. This is a virtualization technology that is used for virtual machines. So if you don't use virtual machines, you can disable this. Now disable Bluetooth. This is just a wireless technology, which I think most of you guys know what this is. So if you don't use Bluetooth, you can disable this and uninstalling useless apps. 
These are different pre-installed Windows apps installed on your system that almost no one uses. It just consumes system resources and CPU cycles. So you can uninstall these, disable useless features. This is kind of the same thing, but different features instead of applications, you can disable them. Now scroll down a bit. And if you don't use Microsoft Store, you can disable this. This is just a pre-installed app store from Microsoft that, again, consumes a bunch of system resources and it's kind of unnecessary. Next, disable Windows telemetry. This is tracking within Windows that reports data and what you do back to Microsoft for them to improve their systems. Of course, we all want to disable this. Now disable network power gating and the same with LM host lookup and NetBIOS or TCP IP. These are both different technologies that almost no one uses. So you can disable them. And this setting right here is only for ethernet. So if you use Wi-Fi like me, do not check the switch. It will do nothing. You can only check this. Only check this if you use ethernet. Now that we're almost done, we only have three more settings left. Adjust audio settings. This will disable spatial audio, enhancements, and different stuff like that, which is unnecessary again. Disable useless devices. This will disable stuff like WAN mini ports, which are used for VPNs, HPET, and stuff like that. It's completely safe, so you don't have to worry about anything. Lastly, disabling storage idle states. Check this. Now that you've done everything in this utility, you can close it out and then make sure to right click on your start menu shut down or sign out and restart your computer for all the changes to take effect. If you want your PC completely optimized for a night and day difference, go to sticktweaks.com and receive the best computer optimization services ever made. With all that being said, I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day.